Hello, this video we will see how to install Cloudera Manager. So we will get the documentation link by searching Cloudera installation in Google. So we are going ahead with proof of concept installation. So proof of concept installation is relatively simple and we are not using uh, custom database here. So it's uh, not recommended for production. So it's for uh, testing or development purpose. So first thing, get this URL archive.cloudera.com and slash cm6. So we are going to download Cloudera Manager file from this repository. So you can choose any version you want. I'm choosing 6.3.0 and you can see one file Cloudera Manager uh, installer bin. So you can download this file to your local desktop and transfer to the machine where you are installing. Or the next option is get the download link and go to the machine okay in that case you should have internet connectivity and wget command install so use wget to download that so we are directly downloading the package so cloudera installer bin to this machine so i just need to add the execute permission by using chmod command so now you can verify that so this file has added execute permission and also the color has changed so now we are going to install this using dot slash cloudera manager installer. So at the same time we will just go to okay switch to root user and then go to slash var log to see uh, the log file where it's uh, generating. So go to the directory slash var log which is the log location and type ls you can see nothing has created. So once we start the installation so this will uh, generate the directory and log file. The first thing you need to uh, read this message okay so this is about the support matrix and uh, the supported operating system etc so we need to click next and this is the license you have to read and accept that this is the license agreement for oracle that's also now it's started installing jdk cloudera manager uh, etc you can see one directory created here under slash bar law which is cloudera manager installer so go inside we can see different multiple files are created for each uh, installation in the sense like uh, for installing jdk it's creating one file so installing a uh, cloudera manager creating separate log file so if you read that log file you can see the status now it's installing cloudera manager server same time you can see uh, the message like it's using m installer to install the cloudera manager server package here so again it takes some time okay so it's all uh, based on your internet bandwidth so now it's uh, reaching to embedded db installation and it's completed you can see the message and uh, cloudera manager is running on 7180 click ok and uh, that's it finish the installation now we have completed cloudera manager installation so we need to check and make sure all the service related to this cloudera manager are running so i don't know if we don't know the service in detail name especially use system ctl and grep cloudera so we will get the service names associated with the cloudera so these two services like cloudera ssm server and cloudera scm server db so we will just check the status using sysctl system ctl command and uh, scm server is running and uh, scm server iphone db okay so till here so you can see that is also running so we have two services so both are running and the next test we can do with the telnet so i don't have a telnet here so i'm using m iphone y install telnet to install the telnet package so this will uh, quickly install and now you type telnet localhost so that is a server where cloudera manager is running 7180 you can see it's a connected plus control c to exit so now our cloudera manager is running the next thing is like get the public ip from here okay and use http because uh, in 7180 http is running not uh, https so use that ip colon 7180 so definitely this won't work because at the Azure side we have to configure networking. So under networking there is a network security group. Click there and we have inbound and outbound role. So inbound will control the traffic which is coming from outside to here. And outbound means from this machine to outside. So we need to configure inbound role to 
open 7180 just to click add and for creating a new role rule just a source is anything and destination source port is also anything and only thing is the destination port we need to change it to 7180 the remaining things like priority and all i'm just adding the default name we can just write it as cloudera manager so another thing if you add the space definitely this will show an error message so it doesn't support space description is optional just hit add to add this rule so this will uh, take a moment to add this rule to this nsg inbound rule okay so if this is added so definitely it will open the port 7180 to outside just to refresh and you can see here like 7180 is open now let's uh, go to this page and to refresh definitely if, if the page is not loading initially so no worry it will take some time to configure the db and uh, uh, start the cloudera manager completely so give some uh, one or two minutes or at least five minutes and then even after that it's not running then start troubleshooting so just uh, use uh, this one and you can see this is http just hit enter so now we got the login page and as we all know so the default login user is admin admin okay you can use that to log in here so that's it about the cloudera manager installation i hope you enjoyed this learning thank you for watching we will see in the next video bye